Hey guys, and thanks for checking out this video. Today I want to show you a really, really cool program called the Nexus Mod Manager. Um, some people ask questions about how to install a mod, where do I put these files, how come I don't have a texture folder and you do? These are all valid questions and um, that's part of modding is, is sometimes folders don't exist, sometimes they do. What you do in those cases you usually create them. However, Skyrim Nexus, or the Nexus guys here, these guys have made an excellent program that I, I love and I'm using 100% of the time now. It's called the Nexus Mod Manager. Now this here, if you're going to SkyrimNexus.com, you can find all your mods. Uh, there's lots of mods there to check out. And this program here, you can use to install them automatically. You can enable mods, disable mods, whatever you want to do. Now this isn't 100% perfect. Some mods you do have to put in yourself. However, this is definitely a step in the right direction. So I'm going to give you the link to this website. And you can click on, your, on the Download Now button over here. I'm going to show you this program in just a moment. So this just downloads it. I'm going to discard it. I don't want to do that. Now, I have it. Just don't mind my Minecraft background and clutteredness. But uh, Nexus Mod Manager right here. So when you open this up, there's a really cool thing about this. It, it actually is good for multiple games. One Oblivion, Skyrim, I believe Fallout, but we'll check this list here in a second. It automatically updates, and you probably noticed, I think it was going to tell me there's an update now. But, wait a moment here. See, a new version's available. Yes, let's go ahead and install that. So while this is installing, you can see basically what the interface looks like. Okay. Well, I was a little ill-prepared for this video. Just give me a sec, guys. Do, do, desktop. Yep. So you want to basically. Okay, this is actually good. This is how you install the game or the mod manager. Um, I always put a little icon there on my desktop and associate with these files. These are your mod files for different games and stuff. So we'll just say yes to that and install. Now let's launch it. Let's go quicker this time. Man, it always finds it slows down there. Okay. So here it is. Now, uh, the SKSE, you've, I think you've seen that before in one of my other mod videos. But you can also just... Oh, let's not do that. Sorry, guys. You can see the version is now updated. Um, just give me a sec. Alright, so mods. So you can see I've got a bunch of stuff here already. Um, you know, see I'm using this one here, Dragon Souls. I've, I did a video on that. Glowing ore veins, I love this mod. Uh, I mean, I'm not here really to show you all the mods I'm using. Um, but what I am going to show you is this one here, for example, makes the female faces a lot better looking. I can just, if I don't want to use this, I don't have to uninstall it. I just click here, deactivate. Now, next time I play Skyrim, that won't be in the game. And it resets those files. And basically, it removes those files so that my females in the game are the same looking ones as the original game, right? Um, improved clothing. This here makes better clothing, so I can click this, or actually click here, activate. And this installs the mod. I can install and deinstall just like that. Um, it also lets you know when there's newer versions of the mods out. You can see here there's a couple that I do need to update. Uh, this one I'm not going to worry about updating, so I'm not using it right now. But this one here, quality ro world map with roads. It's a new version of it. So I can go right over here. Now not everyone, but you can see not everyone has um these kind of um pictures and stuff. But it actually is pretty good. But I want to show you this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna show you, I'm gonna close this for now. And just I, I found this mod. I saw a video there a couple of days ago about um a dragon replaced with Macho Man Randy Savage. So I'm just for the sake of fun. I'm not ever going to use this in my game, guys. But uh, I want to show you this. This here replaces dragons with this. So I think we should go ahead and check it out. Now, a lot of mods have this download with manager. If you click on this, it'll automatically load. 
and download free. You don't have to do anything. It's simple. So that downloads to my manager. Now my manager should be opening here any second. And you see OK. In the download tab, you see right here overall progress, step progress. And you see that that's increasing. So when that's done, it goes into my mods folder and it's ready to go. It's that simple. Now before we go ahead and play this, I want to show you a case where this button might not exist. Not everything has that, so it's actually still quite easy. Um, I don't even really know. I'm just going to go, let's see, clothing. I don't want to do any cheats or add features, so um, let's see. I don't want anything see-through. Festive holiday hat. Let's go there. All right. Let's take a peek at this and see if it's worth putting in the game. Yeah, all right, why not? So this does have the mod manager thing here, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go to downloads. So we're going to download this as a regular zip file. And let's give us a second here. All right. Show in folder. I'm just going to copy this to my desktop, guys. Paste. Now with the mod manager, what we go here, we want to add mod from file, the top button. So I'll go up to my desktop and let's find festive hats and open. Now it's a zip file or a rar file, but it automatically opens it, and here it is. And now I can enable it just like that. So that's the cool thing about this, guys. Um, you can use zip files that you download, or you can download directly into this mod manager and add things, take them away, or completely delete them, or get information, get missing mod info on them. So what I'm going to do, and yeah, here's the extra info for this uh, mod. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load my game up, and we're going to check out those dragons, and then I'm going to get that off my game, because I don't want it on here. So let's see, 100%. So it should be right here. And I'll have to enable it now. It doesn't enable automatically, it installs. And then we enable it. So that's enabled. Let's, uh, let's launch the game. The Alright guys, got that mod that's on, so we're going to hear that dragon soon. Next, the renegade from Cyrodiil. There it is again. <laughs> that? That's cool. I said. All right, let's wait till we see this. I'm gonna speed it up here, guys. Nice and easy. Here he comes. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the cloud. Dragon! Yeah! Holy jeez. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's uh get to that guard tower and we'll go see the dragon a little more close up. Alright guys, so there you have it. Uh, it's just that easy to install mod. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helps you guys a lot. And as always, ask me questions, I don't mind. Um, I can't get to them all, all the time. But uh, when I can, I will. And as for you guys who have been asking questions about folders and stuff, uh, I know some of you said the texture folders not there, things like that. That's fine, just create those folders and they'll automatically be used when you go to unload your mods. But try using this Nexus Mod Manager from now on. I think you guys will enjoy it. And um, yeah, hopefully it helps you and enjoy your Skyrim game, guys. Thanks for watching.